Okay. On Mission Impossible 3, they sent me away in an ambulance for that AFib attack, but I was going to retire anyway. So I think it was God's karma letting me know that I'm going to retire. But I had a 35 year career and the luckiest man on earth. Like, for instance, Titanic. There's over 200 stunt people on Titanic that we filmed in Rosarita Beach, Mexico. I did both Home Alones with two stuntmen, me and the other burglar. Oh, Leon Delaney. Uh, the orange face fury and the green sweatshirt punk in the bathroom. Uh, no, nope, Michael Beck. Just Michael Beck and I. We rehearsed for two weeks. We had it down like a ballet. Because Walter Hill, the director, wanted real sounding. So real bats. And we had it down to a ballet. When we put it on camera, the first take, instead of going up with his head, he should be ducking the swing. And Michael comes up. So I throw the bat in the air. I'd have killed him if I continued through the swing. But these are real swings. So I see the look on Michael's face. His eyes were big as half dollars. Because this is one of Michael's first films. I'm like, oh boy. Well, we finally get to the final punch. And he hits me, and I stagger back. My bat's to the right side. And he swings for the fences where my pads are, my belt buckets. He misses them and breaks three of my whips. Okay, take two. He misses my pads and hits me in my hip. I fall straight down and throw up. Because it can only take so much pain. And I tell my boss, Craig Baxley, I said, Craig, he's beating me to death with a lethal weapon in front of 150 people. And I'm letting him. 